As I mentioned in my video earlier this week, we are officially in list season. Everyone's doing their best shoes of 2023, and we're also looking forward to the best new shoes for 2024. So at TRE a few weeks ago, I got to see all of the new shoes for 2024 from all of the major brands. So over the next few weeks, I'm gonna start categorizing these shoes, highlighting the best ones in each category. Today, starting first with those daily trainers. All right, guys, before we get into it today, if you haven't checked out the Running Shoe Matcher tool yet, go to runningshoematcher.com. So this is a really cool tool I built for you that matches you with the best shoe for you based on your goals and preferences. So you can go in there, answer five questions about what type of shoe you're looking for, whether you like your shoes soft or firm, whether you want a tempo shoe, a daily trainer, or a race day shoe, and we will match you with the best shoe for you. So it's live right now, and it's free. You can check it out at runningshoematcher.com, and I'll put a link in the description below. Also, make sure to go follow the new Supwall Run Instagram where I post all of my exclusive shoe pictures as well as do deals and giveaways. All right, let's get into it. Now I want to set some ground rules for what shoes were included on this list. So I did not include any plated shoes. I do not categorize plated shoes as daily trainers. I will do a separate roundup for the best new plated trainers of 2024. So you won't find shoes like the SC Trainer V3 on here or the Hoka Mach X2 or the Saucony Dorfman Speed 4. They will have their own list. I also don't include shoes with a stack height and the heel above 36 millimeters. That goes into the max cushion category. Again, those are not daily trainers so they will have their own list as well all right guys so first up on the best new daily trainers for 2024 list is the adidas audi zero sl2 i am holding the adidas audi zero sl1 in my hands right now and this is one of my sleeper picks for best daily trainer of 2023 this thing had a nice and snappy fast ride it was on the firmer side due to that light strike eva foam that we're seeing in the midsole here and then i had that little puck of light strike pro up in the forefoot for that extra little responsive boost so adidas took the feedback that a lot of runners had that this shoe was too firm on Foot. They softened it up a ton in V2, which I got to see at TRE. And they did that by one, adding Light Strike 2.0, taking out that Light Strike, which is very firm. And then two, extending the amount of Light Strike Pro they have. Instead of having just this puck here, they're doing a full solid core of Light Strike Pro. So this is more of a legit super foam daily trainer in the same vein as that Nike Vomero 17. It's gonna have a much softer ride. It's gonna be much more flexible as you can see here, but it's still gonna be fast like the SL1 and still going to be very lightweight. Now, I don't have specs on this and I'm still waiting for Adidas to confirm the release date. I know you guys have been asking, so I could guess when this is dropping. I'm not going to do that. What I can tell you is that this shoe, the Audi Zero SL1, came out in December 2022. So if they want to be on that yearly release cycle, we could see it within the next few months, but brands don't always do that. So it is possible that it will also be coming in the second half of next year. What I also know is that this will be priced at $130, so only $10 more than the current version, which for all all of that additional Light Strike Pro super critical TPEE foam that we're going to be getting in the two, that is a great deal. All right, guys, next up, we have the Saucony Ride 17. Now, this one is going to be releasing top of the year, January 1st, 2024. It's available already for pre-order at Running Warehouse. I'll put my link to that in the description below. And it's gonna be at a price of $140, which is the same price as last year's version of the Saucony Ride. Now, the major change in this iteration of the ride is that Saucony's moved from that Power Run EVA foam to the Power Run Plus beaded TPU foam. It's gonna be softer, it's gonna be bouncier, it's gonna have a little bit more of that cushion feel that a lot of runners are gravitating towards in the market with shoes like the Nova Blast really paving a path for what a cushioned daily trainer can feel like. It did also go up in weight a little bit. It's now sitting at 9.9 .9 ounces for that US men's sample size nine, which is quite heavy on foot, but it is gonna offer a little bit more protection than the last version. So if you want that workhorse style daily trainer that's gonna be very protective, that's gonna chew up a ton of miles, if you're in the midst of marathon training or you anticipate you're gonna be ramping up your mileage to a higher level than you ever have before, this is a great shoe for that. I also recommend the shoe if you like to have a hybrid daily trainer recovery running shoe. It can take the burden off your leg. It's not gonna be as cushioned as something like the new Saucony Triumph, which won't be covered in this video, but for a non-max cushion shoe, is gonna offer a ton of protection. So this one comes in at 35 millimeters in the heel, 27 millimeters, in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. 
All right, guys, next up we have the Brooks Ghost 16. So the Brooks Ghost line is one of the most iconic line of daily trainer running shoes for a lot of runners. They either think of the Nike Pegasus or they think of the Brooks Ghost when they hear the words daily trainer. So this one is getting an update that I'm actually really excited about. If you look at the styling of this new shoe, it's beautiful, surprisingly, for a Brooks shoe. They're not known for their style, but it does look pretty solid. It also is still coming in at an affordable price point at that $140. So this is dropping June of next year and it's still going with that more traditionalist stack. It's got 31 up in the heel and then 19 in the forefoot for a 12 millimeter drop. Now, a lot of runners don't get along with the classic Brooks 12 millimeter drops. So if that's you, there's a ton of other lower stack daily trainer options on the market. Ultra is doing their whole line of four millimeter stack shoes. And from them, you can check out the experience flow too. But this is going to be a good option for aggressive heel strikers who like to have that higher bed of cushioning in the heel. Now with 19 millimeters the forefoot it's not going to feel like the most cushion protective shoe it's not a max cushion shoe but that's where the brooks ghost max comes in place and i'll cover that one in the best new max cushion shoes category so if you're a fan of brooks if you're a fan of the ghost line you should like the new changes they made to the shoe they've softened up the foam a little bit with the dna loft v3 but they've kept the same overall traditionalist formula also i should include that the weight on this one is 9.5 ounces all right, guys, next up, we have the New Balance Fresh Foam Balos. Now, this is a shoe that is brand new for 2024. It builds off the success of what New Balance has gotten from that 1080 and the Rebel. It's kind of combined those two shoes into one, and it's offering that fun, bouncy, but cushioned experience for everyday training. So like the 1080, it's got a thick stack of foam, but like the Rebel, like the Rebel V4, the new version, it's incorporating Piva into that Fresh Foam midsole. So this is non-plated. It looks like it's gonna be a competitor to the Super Blast. And with this high price tag of $200, it is certainly sitting in that same ballpark, at least from a monetary standpoint. So when I held this shoe in my hands, the foam felt super nice, but I was also super excited to see that there was a thick rubber covering on this outsole, both on the lateral and medial sides, and then up in the forefoot as well, really thick rubber. So you're gonna be paying $200 for the shoe, but you should be able to get some good mileage out of it. Piva is also known to have some pretty resilient properties so hopefully this can also last more than that typical 300 350 miles that i expect to get out of an eva based shoe so unlike a lot of piba based shoes on the market this does have a more comfortable padded training upper and it's not going to have a harsh ride because it doesn't have a plate in there so this is going to be a really good option if you want something a little bit more fun than a traditional daily trainer like the saucony ride or that brooks ghost but you don't want to go all the way into that plated trainer category all right, guys, next up here, we have the Puma Velocity Nitro 3. Now, this one builds on the success of the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. It is Puma's workhorse daily trainer. They told me some of their elite athletes run 90 miles per week in the shoe. It's one of those shoes that can do it all. It's not gonna be the fastest option, even in that Puma lineup. They have tons of great plated shoes, like the new Fast R Nitro 2. But for those days where you don't need a workout shoe, but don't want a max cushion shoe, that's where this comes into play. So it's not gonna be as fun and exciting as the Balos, but it is still going to have that super critical foam in there that's going to be bouncy and then that puma grip outsole which is known to be one of the stickiest best traction rubbers in the game so again this one comes out january 1st and if i can confirm the price on it i'll throw it up here otherwise i'll put a little apology that says i'm sorry i don't have the price for this one right now all right, guys, so some other ones that I'm excited about that I didn't cover in full in this video are the Mizuno Wave Rider 28, Nike Pegasus 41, Adidas Supernova Rise. That one has been talked about widely and it released this year, but it is also going to be new for 2024. And then the A6 Gel Cumulus 26. I'm also excited about the New Balance 880 V14. I also didn't get any information on the next version of the Hoka Clifton. They weren't showing that at TRE, but I'm sure that we'll get some information about that in the coming months. Let me know which one of these you are most excited about. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another video.